I'm Carl Anthony, and welcome to In Cabin, the groundbreaking new event from Sense Media, the creators of AutoSense. In Cabin supports the knowledge and connections for automotive in cabin technology specialists across the globe. Today, we are speaking with Jenny Kim, product line manager at Lumentum. We welcome Jenny to our In Cabin program today. Jenny, thank you for being with us. Hello, everyone. I'm Jenny Kim, uh, a product line manager in our three sensing business unit, Alumentum, focused on automotive in cabin applications. I'm very excited to be here uh, for uh, as a like an interviewer for the first in cabin event. And uh, thanks very much for inviting me for this uh, opportunity. Indeed, Jenny. And we are across the miles, uh, across the time zones here, almost across the globe. So, so glad to, so glad that we could coordinate and to make it work. And Jenny, just at the beginning here, uh, give us an overview of Lumentum and tell us about the work that you're doing right now in automotive. All right. So for those who never heard about Lumentum, we've been a fixture in the auto electronics industry, supplying components into the telecom and data com space for many years now. We are the largest supplier for 3D sensing illuminators in the world. And in 2021, we shipped our 1 billion unit into the market and our 3D sensing products uh, ship into a multitude of the applications such as uh, the AR, VR, and mobile, uh, um, the industrial uh, lighters, and also automotive. So uh, Lumentum pixels now can be found in the consumer mobile devices, such as uh, the facial ID, 3D depth camera, and also in industry applications for, as I mentioned, AR, VR, robotics, uh, access control, or payment systems, and now in automotive as well for LiDAR and 3D sensing in cabin cameras. For incubating application, we started a mass production of two automotive grade pixel products in 2021. Two major global OEMs are using our pixel for their incubating application. And Lumentum's history, technology, and product are well suited for automotive industry with a long history in quality and reliability demanding applications like undersea fiber optic communications, there is a beautiful synergy here. And with our scale manufacturing and the factories and facilities are certified ready for automotive needs and volumes. Yeah, there's a lot of design wins there, uh, Jenny, and, and congratulations on, on all of that and, and some, of, some of those milestones, yes, of course. Uh, Vixel Technology, you're known for this. So tell us a little bit more about Lumentum's Vixel Technology, help our readers get an understanding of that. Sure. So Vixel stands for vertical cavity surface emitting laser. And a Vixel is simply a type of light source which can be paired with your DMS OMS cameras to get the illumination light for detecting the scene at the dark ambient condition for 2D camera system case, or it can be paired with your 3D camera system to get the reflected light from the object. And let me introduce our key Vixel technology differentiators. First, we have multi-junction technology which provides the highest optical output power for longer sensing range and highest power consumption efficiency to reduce the power consumption. And secondly, we have addressable pixel arrays technology which can provide a design flexibility to effectively illuminate the scene by 1D or 2D, whatever you like. And our backside emitting big cell will, with integrated optic technology make it possible to improve and simplify packaging and also remove the eye safety concern from losing lens because it is one piece device. And there are more technologies differentiators um, in our roadmap like co-packaged optics, drivers, and narrower band uh, beam uh, divergence pixels and lo longer wavelength pixels like 1300 to 1500 and polarized pixel technologies. All those new technology are under uh, development for our next level of innovation. Now, when it comes to innovation, 
and your customers. Uh, what are some of the biggest challenges that your customers have right now, uh, Jenny, when it comes to in-cabin systems? Well, uh, there is a kind of technology trend for in-cabin cameras, which is integration of the TMS and WMS in one camera system. And for this, we noticed that our customers are having difficulties to source the appropriate light source, which it has high power to reach longer sensing range up to the rear seat and have ultra wide FOV to detect full angle inside a vehicle. What I mean is that uh, when your camera sensor has ultra wide FOV, for example, 140 or 160 degree, the illuminator also is required to have wide FOV uh, with uh, high power. But when you use the conventional LED light source uh, to match with your wide FOV camera, you may have some issue either to get dark corners of FOV or to waste too much light outside the FOV because it has the circular beam shape in general. Uh, furthermore, there is also the uh, possibility that you have too bright or saturated image at the center, meanwhile having darker images at the edges. It is because of the conventional LED light sources are having Gaussian beam profile in general. To cope with those challenges, using big cell packages is the perfect solution as it has um, what FO, uh, its FOI can be formed to fit to the camera FOB so it can minimize the light loss outside the uh, FOB and it has a uniform beam distribution profile so you can have a good image quality from the center to the edges. So pixel package will help your system to have more uniform uh, illumination and minimize the light loss uh, so you can improve system efficiency. And we understand the system uh, need to have higher SNR to improve the image quality. And pixel has narrow spectral band width uh, like only three nanometer while the LEDs are about 40 uh, nanometer. And wavelengths shift over the temperature increase is uh, four to five times lower than LEDs. And all these uh, big cell characteristics help the system to adapt much narrower bandpass filter, like only 20 to 30 nanometer range to suppress most of the ambient noise uh, for improving the SNR uh, without cutting larger portion of the light. So with this point, using Pixel package helps you to improve your system efficiency and also image quality. Yes, I was just going to say system efficiency, image quality, that is the such a central component here to this in-cabin discussion. Uh, finish your thought there though, Jenny, because I, I, I don't want to interrupt you here. So go ahead and, fin and go ahead and finish your thought there. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, what I wanted to say was that, uh, that there are more use cases with 3D sensing in cabin camera systems from just recognition uh, for the function control or entertainment uh, to now the facial recognition for driver identification for security and also in-car payment systems for fueling, charging, parking, or uh, getting food or drink via drive through stores. So for those applications, uh, the 3D sensing camera system is required for high level security and the speed of the light is the key to enhance the depth resolution and you need very fast rise and fall time uh, light source. And that is why you also need a big cell illuminator for your system. As mentioned earlier, we launched uh, two automotive grade product uh, for in cabin applications in last year. And now we are developing the next generation uh, to help your integration of DMS and OMS in one system by uh, providing high power pixel to reach longer sensing range and make ultra wide FOI illumination. Jenny, just in general, with the changes in cabin, right? You're talking about, um, you know, new features and, you know, being able to initiate payments from your, your vehicle. Uh, just in general, what are your thoughts on all of this change that we're seeing in the market right now? We go from 
cars at one time being very utilitarian to having lots of safety features, lots of convenience features. Just in general, what are your thoughts on this change that we're seeing right now when it comes to cars and in-cabin technology? So my uh, thought about the application of uh, the trends uh, for in-cabin is uh, still the most important thing is to ensure the uh, safety and the security uh, that the next level uh, for the next level. It's also uh, um, being getting more uh, important uh, to uh, invite uh, the other applications for entertainment or the convenience systems because uh, the, when it become the uh, more high level other systems, uh, then maybe it's not necessary for drivers to uh, keep uh, the like load uh, 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 keep attention uh, to the road all the time. But uh, uh, at the same time, there will be more uh, time for them to uh, uh, entertain themselves or uh, they want to be more convenient for uh, their uh, daily life uh, for uh, the uh, oh, uh, inside the car. So I think uh, from the OMS, DMS uh, mandatory and the regulation, all those, uh, the, um, all those uh, the market uh, uh, needs um, that uh, on uh, in addition to uh, uh, those, I think yeah, it will be very uh, 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 powerful to have the convenient uh, systems uh, plus entertainment system for in cabin uh, later. Jenny, of course, uh, want to encourage all of our viewers and our readers to visit the Lumentum website, a wealth of information and knowledge there. Uh, three sections just to, uh, on the beginning of the site, the homepage, cloud and networking, advanced manufacturing, 3D sensing, followed by a section of press releases and events. So want to encourage all of our viewers to visit the Lumentum website. Uh, and Jenny, from all of us here at AutoSense and in Cabin, we want to thank you for your time, sharing your expertise and your thought leadership leadership. And thank you for being with us. And we look forward to seeing you in Brussels. Thank you, everyone, uh, for yeah, inviting me here. And yeah, I was uh, yeah, really happy to speak. And yeah, really looking forward to yeah, meet you, uh, meeting you at all this uh, sense and also in Kevin. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. For more information on our world-class events and technical training, visit auto-sense.com forward slash in cabin. That's auto-sense.com forward slash in cabin. Ahead of meeting in Brussels and on behalf of in cabin, I'm Carl Anthony. 